Hi guys, JP from FSI Panel. Welcome to this video where I will show you how you can take snapshot, which is a kind of picture of your cockpit on the Phoenix A320 using FSI Panel 2024 Advanced Edition. The idea of a snapshot is to be able to repeat flights without having to reprogram yourself all the cockpit, including MCDU. So it can be very useful if you want to practice several departure with engine failure, returns and so on, without having to lose the time to program everything. All right, so before I forget, please subscribe to the channel. And I wanted to say as well that there is another snapshot mode, which is the mode where you're sitting on ground at a parking position. So for that, you have the link in the description down below. And here we are going to prepare the aircraft for a quick departure. All right, so I'm sitting in Zurich on runway 28 and we are going to program a snapshot for a Zurich to Geneva flight, a very short flight and easy to program. This is why I pick it up for you. So let's see what we have to do. So we are going back into our cockpit. And as you can see, I just loaded the aircraft. Default panel state, engines running. If you don't have the engines running and you're on the runway, make sure you go to Phoenix, panel state and select ready. And here we just make sure that we have the engines running and the rest, as you can see, nothing has been set at all. So now I'm ready to start FSI panel and program everything. So the first thing you want to do when you want to use FSI panel is to make sure you have the in-game module open. So if I click on it, then you can see that we have FSI panel messages connecting. Now we are ready to start FSI panel. There we go. And then what you want to check is that you have the correct aircraft detected. It's a Phoenix A320, perfect. We are in Zurich and we are on runway 2A, that's correct. If it's not the correct runway, just select it from the menu and that's it. Here you can see your actual live weather, that's fine. And we are ready now to take the snapshot. So to take a snapshot, you need to press on take snapshot button here. And then you will get a first message from FSI panel, which is do you want FSI panel to preset your cockpit? So before I click on it, let me show you what it means. In the cockpit, as you can see right now, we have all the lights off, seat belt is off. So basically the aircraft is not really in a situation to fly here. The uh, speed brake is not armed, the flaps are up, but we are sitting on the runway. So preset will help you by putting all the switches where they're supposed to be for a takeoff. So let's try that with FSI panel. So I clicked on it and now on in my cockpit, everything will be set. You can see the light, seat belt, everything is now set as a preset. You will check everything at the end, but it saves you some time and you can then continue uh, what, uh, to look at what FSI panel wants from you. Okay, so we have clicked on the preset and now FSI panel is asking us for some options. So set FCU altitude, this is my initial altitude. Departure in Zurich, it's 5,000 feet. Set correct QNH, I suggest you to keep it ticked. That means FSI panel will set the correct altimeter setting. So if you fly the same flight, maybe a couple of days later or tomorrow and the altimeter setting has changed, then FSI panel will correct it for you. Once this is done, we can go to the next step, which is to program the MCDU. So FSI panel will record anything you type on the captain MCDU. So this is what we do now, start recording. And then FSI panel will give us after a few seconds a message to go in the simulator. So let's wait for that message. And here it is. Please follow the instruction on your simulator screen. So OK. And I can go in my simulator screen. Now FSI panel wants us to load the aircraft. So putting passengers, cargo and fuel to click send to MCDU. And when done and only when done, click here to acknowledge. All right. So let's do that. So we can go to mass and balance and we can load our, our aircraft as desired. So I'm going to put 150 passengers around, one tons of cargo, and for this fuel, for this flight, sorry, we need 4.2. So I'm just going to put around five tons of fuel on board, which is enough for that flight. And then I want to load the aircraft. So I will apply and load the aircraft and I want an instant loading. I don't want to lose time. And I can see now that my aircraft is loaded. Next thing you want to do, send to MCDU. So this is the button you have right down here. And we have a success message. Now I can click here to acknowledge. Done. Now that this is done, FSI panel works on the MCDU, as you can see. And we are waiting for the next instruction. Please program your MCDU. Do not enter the wait on init page 2. 
and when done click here to acknowledge so do not enter the weight on page two why because if i share the snapshot with you and you want to fly it on your airbus which is in pound and i'm in kilogram then you're going to have complete wrong figure and it will fail that's the only reason why you should not enter the weight fsi panel will do it for you and that gives you the option to share a snapshot with anybody on the planet all right, so let's program everything. So remember that anything you type on the Captain MCDU is recorded. So be ready, maybe prepare yourself, try it once without recording to make sure you know what you're typing. When it's once it's done, it will be taken as a picture and it will always be the same. So let's do that together here. So we want to do a Zurich to Geneva. We are flying today Crosshair 001. My cost index is 5. And I'm going to climb to flight level 170. Now, we don't go to page 2, remember? But we are going to enter our departure. So we are departing runway 28. And we are taking the Vebit for whiskey. Insert. Then the flight plan goes via an airway, so it's going to be Tango 50 to Rotos. And if I do a mistake here, no problem, I will correct it. But this will be recorded as well, so you will see that when you import that snapshot, you're going to have the exact same typo. This is why it's strongly, I strongly recommend you to make sure you know what you're typing if you want a very nice and clean snapshot. All right, we end up to Ulmes. Insert, and then I just put the arrival. We are flying an ILS-22, and the arrival is Ulmes to Romeo. Insert, good. Now, if I want to check my routing, I will not do it here because everything will be recorded. I will do it on the first of ESO MCDU. And now that this is done, we just need to put the performance. So let's go to performance, have a quick look in the performance here. So we are departing from Zurich. Runway 28. I will use the last numbers. S live weather, calculate. And I get the speed 138, 138, 139. So here again, do not send to MCDU because it won't be recorded. So 138, 138, 139, I tap it in. 138, 138, and 139. Here we go. Now let's see the flaps and the flex. So it's a 1 down 0 0.2 and 61. So 1 down. 0 0.2 61 and acceleration altitude in Zurich is around 4500 set now I will pretend my MCDU is complete I don't want to set anything else so I will click here to acknowledge now FSI panel will give us the next instruction please set your cockpit as desired and when all set click here to acknowledge all right, so what we want to do here, let's say I would like constraints, 10 nautical miles, constraints, 10 nautical miles. Let's put VOR here. I have auto brake max. I have my flaps, which are wrong because we have one down zero two. So I'm going to set flaps one here. And then we computed with packs off. So I'm going to make sure I have the packs off here. Basically, I check that my cockpit is exactly set as I would like it to have when i'm ready to depart to geneva i will set my departure frequency here whatever i want so we are going to try one two one three for the demonstration and one two three point nine -er. here we go and basically once you feel that you are completely set the lights are set you have your correct takeoff configuration everything looks good now you can click on the next on the last step here so click here to acknowledge and now FSI panel will set the weight in the MCDU. You can see that right here. And finally, it will give you the instruction to return to FSI panel to enter the snapshot detailed and to save it. All right, let's do that. So here we are at this position here. It says MCDU program, enter a description for your snapshot. So I'm just going to put Charlie Romeo X-Ray 001, Zurich, Geneva, 
ready take off. And I will click on save snapshot. Now FSI panel is taking the time to look at all the switches, flap setting, everything we set in our cockpit and we'll record it in the snapshot. So that takes around 20 to 30 seconds and then we will get a message that everything is done. So let's see that happening now. Here we go, snapshot added to the database. That's it, now we have created our snapshot. If we go to load snapshot, we can see our snapshot right there. And if you want to export any snapshot, you can export it right there and give it the name as you want. So this is the Crosshair Zurich Geneva and I'm going to put here ready. So if you want to fly that snapshot, download it in the uh, section down below and drag and drop that file on FSI panel main window and you'll be you will be uh, you will, sorry you will have this snapshot in your database done now we are going to try to reset the simulator on the runway in Zurich in 28 and we'll see if FSI panel can program everything for us so let me restart the simulator okay so Zurich we said and we departed from runway 28 so it's important that we select the same runway so runway 28 and I have the live weather and I'm clicking on start flight. Here we go. Our aircraft is now on the runway. I will click ready to fly. And I will make sure as before that I have my engines running. Otherwise, I need to select the correct panel state. So let's give some time for the Phoenix to load up. And looks like we have engines running. Everything seems to be good. Otherwise, remember, Phoenix, panel state, ready. And you will be in this exact same position. So let's have a look now here in our cockpit. You can see that we have the wrong altimeter setting. We have the wrong altitude. We do not have a constraint. We are not in 10 miles. We don't have any uh, flight plan. We don't have right frequencies. All the switches are off for the lights, so basically we are not ready to depart. We have the flaps up, the speed brake is not armed, so basically in a mess. And we want to fly the exact same flight as before. So let's do it. Let's do that. Open again the in-game model for FSI panel, and then we start FSI panel. Here we go. Check the correct aer aircraft, Phoenix A320. Correct airport, correct runway, and now click on load snapshot. You can see the snapshot here. That's the one we did together. Crosshair 001, Zurich Geneva ready for takeoff. And load panel state. And now we go in our cockpit and let's see what is happening there. So FSI panel will start by resetting the MCDU to make sure we are starting from scratch. And then FSI panel will program the MCDU. So let's have a look at that. Setting the fuel for us, we took five tons. Zero fuel weight has been inserted already and now the flight plan will come in. So the weight, so if you have an aircraft in pounds, you will have that entered in pounds. And now we can see our flight plan that we typed together a couple of seconds ago. So you will see as well the typo in the routing. So now we can see that FSI panel is doing that for us. So in the meantime, we just have to wait. Do not try to touch anything else because you can interfere, just wait. You can see here the routing, Tango 50, and here we did a typo on purpose. And as you can see, it's been corrected here as well. Then we're gonna go to Ulmes. And finally, we inserted the arrival, ILS-22 via Ulmes to Romeo. And the performance, 138, 138, and as you can see now, my flaps are still up. Nothing is set properly, so we will just wait for FSI panel to finish here the MCDU, and then you will see that the rest of the cockpit is done as well. And that was the end, perfect. And now let's have a look at our cockpit. You can see correct QNH has been set. Now we should see the flaps moving anytime soon to flaps one we should see the uh, speed brake arm so it will take another 15 seconds 20 seconds and you'll be ready you can see speed brake arm flaps one 
we have the uh, constraint on both sides, 10 miles, 10 miles, and we should have the packs off, packs off, packs off, and you can see that all the lights are set. So basically, the only thing I need to do is check my takeoff config, and I have a takeoff config normal, check the cabin, and I'm basically ready to depart for Geneva. So that's how you can easily and quickly repeat flight. If tomorrow you want to do the exact short flight and practice some failures or whatever, just reload your snapshot and you'll be ready to go. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any question or comment, please drop it in the section down below. And uh, please subscribe to the channel. Thank you and uh, stay safe. And I see you very soon for another training session. Bye-bye.